I think it's so important to keep uh, Indigenous cultures alive and especially um, here in Australia with our Aboriginals. Uh, they've got so much to offer the land and to the people and even these boys would benefit so much to have an education where they can learn about all different cultures and especially the Indigenous culture and the First Nations peoples here in Australia. Because boys, what do you do in school? Do you do an acknowledgement to country? Yeah. Yeah. Can you, do you do you know? Hang on, darling. Do you know your acknowledgement to country? Do you know your acknowledgement to country? It's careful. No worries. Oh, okay. I didn't see you. Can you say it? How does it go? I don't know. Oh, they just learnt it, so they do that every morning. Yeah, so in it's school lovely. you do that? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, now why already know Russian? Do you know your acknowledgement of country? No, I know uh, Russian. Russian? Oh, Russian. Yeah. Wow, that's that's also fantastic. good language. All the languages that's are fantastic. really cool to know. I think the, the concept of Free universities is deeply interesting. My concept is a little bit smaller scale than that. I'd be all up for Indigenous Prime Minister. I think this country certainly needs uh, more, more Indigenous uh, representatives, and having an Indigenous Prime Minister would be amazing. So fantastic! I would, I would think that we would be living in a utopia if we had that. I think of an Indigenous Prime Minister being, um, I think it would be tremendous, I think it would be unlikely. And I think it's unlikely and, and you know, I've, written, written, I've read some of the articles written by um, First Nations people specifically on this. They think it would be difficult to um, get the political support for it. Maybe there would be a head of state. I forecast that there will be radical changes in, in politics in Australia and it's related to the question that you asked earlier on. It's related to climate change. And I'm happy to talk about that offline. I just think these people in power have no idea and, and I feel that um, there's a lot of greed and uh, money involved in people denying or not pretending to deny climate change. It's real, it's happening and we see it in our droughts in all the fires that are happening at the moment. And re yeah, really, I think there's so much to do with climate change. And I think these little boys are even telling us to stop using plastic. And looking after the earth, so.
I think there's a long way to go, but um, I think certainly the people in power need to learn that uh, you know it's our children's future on the line, and they need to start being more proactive and saving the earth. What do you think about saving the environment? <laughs> Well, that's probably a, a renewable resource. <laughs>feel about Uluru being closed off for the public? Oh, I think that's great, you know, I think it's so important to, um, you know, honour these, honour these indigenous cultures and certainly the First Nations culture. Hi, the first time I went to Uluru, which was back in about, uh, I don't know, 1990 or so, I climbed it, I've been back there twice since, I wouldn't climb it. Um, if for young new people, I think it's so important to do that and I am um, going very soon my love. Yeah, I think it's great to, to that they did that. And we're gonna go to the other part. Soon Bobby. Thank That's you so it. much, Thank I really you. appreciate it. I'm Boa from Germany. Coming over to see three warriors from different nations and I'm happy and I'm really really appreciating that I'm here on the land. Thank you very much for your work. And Uncle Uncle, Uncle Bowens, thank you for being here. Rada Marek Yungo. Yungana Kadiwayawa. Yungana Yungana Chuyama. I'm Anthony John Riley. I come from the Waradri Nation. My tribal name is Dumayabi, means little thundercloud, big bite. Um, my people are the largest tribe in Australia, are the largest landmass, largest tribe. Uh, we have 74 different dialects of language just in our, our groups, and we come from family groups. I am Yure Wiri, that covers my clan of people, my tribe. And, uh, I'm happy to talk to our brother from Germany and I'll pass it over to uh, pass it over time from that so he can introduce himself. Hey Uncle, hey, see you again. <laughs> Good work. Three. My name's Leo Ronald Marks. I'm an Arabana man. My people are from the desert, um, Uluru, uh, Cuba Purdy, Lake Air, Roxby Downs. And Noon and Dada. Um, I'm an Amy fella. Uncle. I'm Daniel Wyman and um, I'm Barkadji man out the uh, Wilkenya. And Barkadji mean the river people who lived on the river. And uh, at the moment we are fighting for that. It's sad to go. Yes. So, yes, yeah, good to be here. Yeah. Maybe then? Yep. Yeah. Universal education. Well, universal, everything has to start at home first. Before, because from little things, big things grow. Educate our children. I, this is my wish, that our Wiradjuri people, that education starts in the white man system first. Our language should be brought into schools, which in my country, this is now happening. Our children are being taught, not just the white man's way, but it's also been taught by our people to educate the children to stop the language being lost. Now, education, education, education. I put my children through university to learn the white man's way. Now, my daughter heads up <coughs> the department that protects the sites in Australia. And I'm very proud of her. She travels to Australia making sure these sites are protected. You must be educated in the white man's way to use it against him. But <coughs> speak his language.
don't teach him my language, learn his language, then use it against him. I'm not a big uh, fan of universities at the moment, how they're ran, because I don't think they are, I don't know, I just don't think they're useful anymore. I am pleased that the education system is now accepting my, my language and my culture in the schools. We are, I spent 10 years teaching culture in schools, but I taught it to everyone. But there's only certain parts of my culture, the rest is sacred. When I speak on behalf of Aboriginal people, I don't speak on behalf of Aboriginal people. I speak on behalf of my Wiradjuri people, my people, that's all I can do. To see this happening in the schools now makes me full of pride, full of joy. And I say, you must learn both. Because you're living in this world, the more educated you get there, and the higher education you get here, it's not really education, it's cultural awareness. Let the children be aware of their own culture and instill it in them. And once you educate them in your own culture, a sense of pride comes about it. And then all of a sudden, you see over here, they're learning the white man's way as well, but they're learning and they're taking it in and soaking it in. And that's what I wish for my people. And if this could be right across the world and stop people from killing our cultural ways, yes, I agree with the universe. Your mum. Your mum, I totally agree, I totally agree. Yes. You think I said it all, my brother? Oh, yes, I agree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Uncle? Yeah, you just more or said it all there. Eh? Yeah, right, yes, I too. I reckon fuck the degree. They don't need a degree. They should just, if you, if they, if they, if we wanted to teach their kind of traditions, which we should do in Australia with like indigenous traditions, they should be able to just come in and tell their stories and, you know, spread kind of the indigenous culture a little more than it is at the moment without having a stupid fucking degree. Maybe it'd be worth talking to each individual about what they would like to learn and what they would like to do and then they can go from there about what subjects they'd be teaching. I think some media outlets make climate change activists look like kind of like loopy people that don't know what they're talking about and just kind of like um, peasants, like pests, sorry, pests. Like, just that are like, you know, just, oh, fuck them, they're fucking stupid fucking tree huggers kind of thing. It definitely cool to have, it definitely cool to have more indigenous and traditional owners of the land in Parliament, is what I think. Because, yeah, they out of everyone, they deserve the right, and they, they out of anyone in the country deserve to have the big decisions about their country, not a bunch of fucking white. bit awkward because people just don't know what sort of system we're living in today. Like, we got yeah. corporations ruling things now and even though if we did get an Indigenous Prime Minister he would have to tell the party line, you know, so, yeah, it's a bit... We don't it's think a bit, I don't think, I don't, bit, I don't think anything could change too much. Yeah, Everyone I don't think anything will still change. Have to to, to the yeah, you know, you just have to, yeah, you, I mean, right. you just have to look at the black Prime Minister over in America, you know, what was his name? Obama. Obama. Eh? Killing this then, yeah, Nobel Prize. He was up there. See, it, it didn't make any much change either. It did not. You know, so, so yeah. I don't think it would work either. No, because <laughs> we're, we're under the Westminster system, yeah. Westminster. which is, the Queen is our high authority. The Governor General is the Queen's yeah. servant. The Governor General controls the Prime Minister. We had a Prime Minister sacked here, a beautiful man, God Whitlam. He was giving our land back to our people. The Queen got, got uh, the Governor General to sack our Prime Minister because he was helping our Aboriginal people. Yeah. 
His name's Gough Whitlam, very famous man in our people. Paul Keaton? Paul Keaton's another one. Another oh, beautiful gee. man that yes. looked after our people. Westminster system is look after yourself first and bugger everyone else. They conquered us and then they're still trying to conquer us. While ever there is that sort of system, we got to get rid of the Westminster system, but then what have we got to look forward to? A president? Oh my God. <laughs> so where is the system? See, in, in our tribal systems, we, we rule ourselves in our cultural way. And every tribe did that. Still do. We had our corroborees where all the tribes would meet, and they'd talk about law and share the language so we understood each other. How, the world doesn't, they, they want one world order. Eventually they want one man to control world order. Ten families control the world. You will not find a system where it's equal and fair to everybody. They'll call it communism or something else if they do that. So when, you, when, when we are just talking about uh, system and that the Prime Minister is not in charge at all because it's just a fake puppet and marionette from yeah, the Green. Puppeteer like that, yeah. uh, you talked about cooperation taken over in the education system, in the health system, in the politics and everything what is the money base. So we come to the last and then to other questions. What do you think about printing your own money means your own indigenous money, uh, your own instead of the Australian dollar? Yeah, don't be yeah. Well, up in Queensland, there was a tribe. They got together. They formed their own government. They got their own police force. Autonomy. Autonomy from the government, and they do not listen to it. we as Australian Aboriginals. I can my Wiradjuri, I can get my Wiradjuri passport to travel overseas. I don't get a government passport. I can get my Aboriginal passport. So this group has claimed autonomy, and they just ignore the government and they do it themselves. And that community runs very well. The violence has stopped, the alcoholism has stopped, the drugs have slowed down, and they're very strict on anyone that brings that shit into their country. And when I say their country, their tribal land. And I'm very proud of it. So here it's not allowed at all to, to, to be? Just after hours. After hours. So when it when is it starting? We'll open again, I think around nine o'clock tomorrow morning, and then we'll right. be open till seven. Okay.
Say whatever you feel like. Okay, this is how I feel, humanity. I feel like you're a bunch of fucking maggot pigs and thick, 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 yeah, carbon yeah. based peace. And fuck off, motherfucker. This is me talking. And I say, I hate you all, but I love you, but I hate you. It's love, hate, hate, love. Get it? Fuck you. Oh, that's a middle finger. And then trying to do that. Because uh, you know what that means? That means, ooh, I got a little one, and you got a big one. Maybe we go, ooh. And this one goes, ooh. And then it all goes, bang. Because you thought it all came from a big bang. Maybe it might as well come from a big. Bang, fuckers! Yeah. It takes a powerful man to stand up and fight. And uh, this is why I walked away from it. Ten years I did. I walked away from it for that reason because I'm tired of banging my head on a brick wall. I'm tired of my voice not really being heard. So today I travel the lands, I meet my brother's cultures, mm. I, I, I go to all of the Aboriginal tribes and I sit with them, we talk, and, and, and it's like it lifts your spirit up to be welcomed to another tribe. It, and to have ceremony done upon you on their land and to welcome you as a brother on your land. So, yeah. Come on, Uncle, speak right, up. Right. No, no, yeah, I, right, I reckon it'd be a good right, idea right, to, right, right. Yeah, to have our own uh, banking system to get away from the yeah, economy, white eh? fellas economy. system too much. I think it doesn't work. That's why the situation we are in now is completely not working. It's not working for us, eh? It's so, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. It's not working for us. I, I agree with our own banking. Respect. Infection. This is prison. prison. It's yeah. a self-governed prison. Yep. And we're prisoners in our own land. But when I go bush, I'm free. I'm free. Melting to the imprisoned image of a damaged mind, ravaged by an unforgiving time, expressed divinely by a man, not a god, but wrapped so timely in the sinews of my aching body's course to travel blindly. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It's not working for us. We're I agree, our own baby. See, years ago we fought. We got our own medical systems now. We got our own medical. Wananga Nimanaja, out in uh, Narabunda. It means place of healing. We have doctors. We have dentists. We have physio. We have our own blood testing. We have it all there. And now at the moment it's getting bigger. They're rebuilding big buildings there again to, to, so they can do more for their people. That's autonomy from the health system.
can see what I've been looking for. Do not know what will happen. It happens, but what I'm new is something that I will not be waiting for. For you will only see the automaton of your own conception to your own complacency to what you now make of is the compensation for the understudy of the university. So you will not know how to be it when it comes for you. This is the free Mickey remix for the Sunday episode. Well, I we will not understand, but we we do it. I we know we that we can. With the indigenous knowledge from over knowledge over over eighty ninety thousand years, this is ten times as old as the traditional Chinese medicine. This is just six thousand years. So, please, if you if you want to go on on the subject, each of you, what is the healing itself beside of the school medicine stuff? Go on, Uncle. You should be able to answer that one. You do it first, I'll see right. if I can cook. Okay, I'll open up on that. Yeah, open up on that and I'll cook. You, you can have the medical healing, and we have traditional healers going into hospitals now, being accepted into hospitals. You go out to a particular demographic or a group of people, could be of any size, and through an iterative process you come up with a, a list of action items or um, you know, an action plan or key issues for that particular group. But the main thing is you pull in all the different views from that group, okay, and then you discuss them you know, through various cycles and come up with this consensus set. Um, The Australian persona is, is one of diversity, harmony, and doing the right thing. Not for a hundred years, not because of our Anzac history or whatever, not for 250 years, but 50, 60, however many thousands of, thousands of years. And Australian First Nations people had a system of, you know, you could call it pan politics, but there's, a, there's quite a significant degree of harmony. And it is largely because um, they have this process of yarning and yarning circles where everybody's view is acknowledged and recognised and respected, unlike social media today, for example. I'll open up on that. Yeah, open up on that and I'll cook. You, you can have the medical healing. And we have traditional healers going into hospitals now, being accepted into hospitals. They don't give herbs or anything like that. They do spiritual healing. And when you get spiritual healing, your body heals better and quicker and faster. That's why this man here, I don't take any medication drugs. I'll suffer with a bloody headache. I know it'll go away eventually. I just lay down and go to sleep. All right, I don't take white man's pills. All right? I, I, I just, doctors write a prescription for me. I just go, <laughs> in the garbage bin. And you know, uh, but the beauty about uh, Wananga is we got people, doctors from all over the world. We got Indians, we got Pakistanis, we got Muslims. It's not just our culture, but we also got our spiritual gifts.
pay my respects to the traditional owners of this land here. You're from Germany and um, yeah, land rights, Aboriginal flag first is the same colour as Germany, red, yellow and black, however there is a difference. Black for, uh, for the Aboriginal flag means it represents black people, Aboriginal people. Red is for the blood that's been shed on this land and the colour of the land. Yeah, the yellow is the sun, the giver of life. That's what the Aboriginal flag is about. And it's about time, you know, we're changing. Changing and it's uh, more and more and more Aboriginal people are going to universities and are opening up their own businesses and it's only um, evolution that, yes, it is time for Aboriginal people to have destiny in their, uh, in the universities really. Yeah, and uh, so I am, uh, um, I am for um, Aboriginal people being uh, involved with the university uh, way of life and um, yeah, getting qualifications. Not that you need a PhD to talk about your own land. You don't need a PhD. Yeah, PhD is there in the heart and you know all the sciences and all that sort of thing. Aboriginal people already know that. No matter what a protest is, whether it's the land or human rights, it's really important that we consult and uh, be uni uh, unified with Aboriginal people. Once you learn to trust, once Aboriginals learn to trust you, then that knowledge is open to you. Yes, but it's trust. If Aboriginal people have been here for thousands and thousands of years and their law is so complex, it's us, the outsiders, really, that have to learn from Aboriginal people because their law goes way back and goes back into the future as well. Love for each other. There's so much violence around, so much war around. We need to love each, each person more, how to care for each other, how to break down the men's, women's business and all that. Except more of the um, transgender people as well. It's different now, things are changing and we must go with the flow and adapt really quickly. Unify as much as possible. Division is happening left, right and centre and you don't know whether you've got a friend or not. So un un unification of all forms, yeah. Not all elders are, uh, preach or um, teach in a positive way. So it's a matter of an individual figuring out very, very carefully who is wise to uh, take the, uh, this generation forward? There's lots of people who play on being elders, but it doesn't mean necessarily that, yeah, just find out the love, there's love language. That's the most powerful thing in this, uh, in this universe that we have left. What would you say about the Prime Minister to be in charge of uh, indigenous for the whole country? Uh, I think it's impossible because white people don't understand the word sovereignty, Aboriginal sovereignty. Yeah, Aboriginal people must uh, control their destiny and we as outsiders really have to learn the laws to survive. This is fire country, it's the driest country continent in the, in the world. And this is fire country, this is how the trees uh, generate is through fire and it's uh, and Aboriginal people have been farming is it I don't know if that's the right word about burning off correctly so that they don't endanger the tribe and uh, you know they also uh, made homes and caves or safe areas 
but uh, yeah, it's only through the wisdom of land care, through Aboriginal people, more Aboriginal people should be employed to look after their land and ranges, you know, they call them ranges out in the desert. And uh, yeah, and um, but the apprentices that are non-Aboriginal people who want to learn too how to survive and uh, survive in the way of what to eat when we run out of the you know supermarkets gone fucked. And uh, yes, we've got to um, learn from the people of this land. Climate change has been happening from day naught. Okay. And um, all this fear about emergency, it is an emergency. But Indigenous people have um, lived through many, many, many quick changes. My people from Hawaii, we got out of Hawaii because of overpopulation to get away from slavery, not enough food. That's why we have to move. And it's just in our, all of our, all of our um, essence really, we're movers. We've always been interested in the horizon and improving and to, to be, feel safe to bring up the kids and to the, you know, grandparents to be safe. It's just in our nature, human nature. Yeah, I mean, people go on about, you know, different races and all that. There's only one race and that's the human race. Get over it. So we have to keep ourselves, our hearts soft, not concrete. Out in the bush, yes, we've got the advantages of being near the trees and the, hopefully rivers and all that sort of thing. But uh, there's a harshness of this land too. So um, it's always a, um, it's always a, um, yeah, a challenge. But it's good for your spirit too, challenges, yeah. And as for the Prime Minister, yes, sovereignty. Why people today, in the last eight years, have been saying, our sovereign borders? Well, it's not the Liberal Party's sovereign borders at all, it's Aboriginal sovereign borders. And they don't recognise that word for Aboriginal sovereignty. Aboriginal uh, land always was and always will be. just up to us to actually, yeah, befriend and trust and carry carry that friendship forward. And, um, you know, Aboriginal people have been the most studied uh, race in the whole planet. So try and come from here and not just observe, you know, and, um, yeah, it's about self-improvement too. Yeah. How do I feel, Mother Earth? Well, that's really easy. Just breathe in, breathe in. Take your shoes off, walk the earth in bare feet. Go for a swim, enjoy what life has got to give to cure Mother Earth. Well, that's uh, the responsibility of all of us. And a lot of people do uh, believe in the media and say, oh, I've given up about the environment. But no, it's, uh, it's a duty. And it's the least we can do for Aboriginal people. People that have been on this land, uh, Aboriginal people have been seeing the genocide, the end of their tribal life, the end of their forests, and uh, the state of the, uh, say, the Murray-Darling Basin, that's come at a, at a, a cost that's um, detrimental to the future so it's about turning it around and I'm sure that we have got time to turn uh, all this around to give hope to the young to go forward and uh, just keep loving the earth we only get two mothers in our lifetime right two mothers our biological mother and mother earth and if you can look after both then you'll be a better person Thanks. Kakite.
the medications, I know that I know a lot of the stuff from my country, but I'm off country. So I don't know the medications that are in this area or the ones that are down the coast, but as I travel and I'm learning, people are showing me the medicine bushes along the coast. They're showing me, they're teaching me their culture, and I'm so proud to learn their culture. Well, and I take it on with pride. It's spiritual. Very true, I hear spiritual healing. Um, amazing. Because I've got liver damage. You now I was told about a certain gum tree. I've got liver damage. And all that, and cirrhosis of the liver. And I, I was told from a certain bush, a gum tree, lemon myrtle, to bring down my, my liver count and what and it has. And the doctors were amazed and they asked me, and I said, No, I can't tell you. I can't, no, I can't tell, tell you. I can't tell you. <laughs> can't tell you. Another one was cancer. This fella was into this thing called Gumby Gumby yeah. up in Queensland. And this white fella, God bless it, was taken for years and years, and they put him in remission. Yes, put it in remission. So, I believe when I sent him up in Nimbin, um, he was just looked at us and said, do you look healthy? And I go, yeah, really. what Stevie did, gave me and all that. Put me cancer in remission. Now my brother's got it, so I'm passing it down to him. So, yes, there are, as I say, all all things living, as I say, trees and like, got a purpose and, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. And as I say, spiritual healing can be done yeah. with didgeridoo and over the body. And, yeah. Yes, amazing. Call them not only ancestors physical to bless us. Yeah, yes, not only yeah. physical healing. You always got to have that spiritual healing as well. Yeah. And as well, it goes together. And by taking, going to the chemist all the time and grabbing these drugs, all you're doing is supporting drug companies. Like we we know marijuana is a great, beautiful healing. It heals the mind. It opens the mind up. Brings down cancer. This is why today they're medical marijuana. We've always <laughs> known. We've got our drugs, but marijuana, you know, I'm not out to smoke marijuana and get stoned and all that. But when, I'm, when I feel the pressure of the world caving in on me and I can't, it's like you're stuck in a hole and you can't see any light, I use a little bit of it and it opens my mind up, it relaxes my spirit. And it shuts the mind down a little bit so your spirit can come out. Now this has been known all over the world for donkeys here. American Indians use peyote to, to go into their dream time. Out of my tribe, we got. I know of a route that I can put you in a trip land. But I am bound not to disclose. And I will honour that and I will never disclose. They want to go in my country, I go and find a bit of it by the river and I feel the earth going into hood. I feel it all around me. I feel I feel the overwhelming of being. I feel my ancestors around me. And that's the that's the most beautiful thing about it. I'm not a drug addict, I don't take drugs. The drugs and alcohol and stuff that they brought to this country is killing our people. So the time for true healing spiritual healing. Right. I, I believe it's that's right. right. Exactly. How do I feel? Because I feel like I'm broken hearted but yet I'm still here. So if I'm broken hearted and I'm still here maybe that love was fake. And maybe the hate was the only real thing. So maybe it was love, hate, hate, love because that love was fake. And maybe I was the only one with love there. But it's okay, because I still love you, but at the same time I hate you. But if I love you and I hate you, then I'm still going forward, so it's all out of love. Maybe if you love us, maybe you would realize I am an I, and an I for an I means an I for an I, and a tooth for a motherfucking tooth. <laughs>
They never teach you true, true stuff in our schools because they have the control of the hill there. Parliament House, they have, they have control of the, the schools, the whole oh, university, the everything, you know. Yeah. Uncle, uh, yeah. He's a very proud man. He drowned himself once, isn't it? 20 years now, isn't it? He found his spirit, 20 years. <laughs> 20 years. Uncle's don't touch it either. Yeah, I don't touch the good alcohol. I have occasional beer. Smokes, I knocked the smoking off too about, that was about six years ago. <laughs> well, I'm 61, I don't know whether it's too yeah, late yeah. for me, but I've been contemplating giving it a go, and I think the only way I'm going to do it is cold work. Yeah. Yeah, too late. Yeah. Just walk away from it. Yeah, too late. When I laid in the hospital up there after a stroke, laying in the air, never had a smoke for three weeks. And I was feeling good because I could get the oxygen bottle and breathe pure air. I didn't feel like a smoke. They wouldn't give me any, nah, I don't want your patches, I don't want your tablets. As soon as I walked outside, I went straight up to bloke broke and I'd get a smoke on you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had the opportunity right then mm, yeah. to quit. Pleasure. Well, the spiritual healing, it's, um, it's, it's a, it, I look at it in three parts. There's your inner spirit. See, this is a computer. This is the vehicle. Someone's got to punch the information into the computer. 
That's your brain. That's your spirit. You can feel when bad things are gonna happen. I can cuddle my brother and I know my spirit says he's a lovely man. He's a lovely man. I, when they step in my aura, my being, I can tell exactly what sort of person they are. I still treat them with dignity and respect, but I walk away from them. It's, it's, a, it's a part of healing yourself. It's a part of being aware about yourself. And then there's the outer spirits. These are called our dream time elders from the past. All my elders, I can feel them. If I'm going to do something wrong, and I don't know it, I soon get told, and that's told inside by the spirit. So do you understand that? Spiritualism is the greatest gift. Religion is bullshit. It's, it's, it's garbage to make you bend to the white man's weight. Where well, our Miami, in my culture, and this is going into Hogan, you take care of the earth, she takes care of you. You, I don't pray. I talk to my ancestors. My ancestors talk to Miami about my problems. This is self-healing. So how uncles do it, I don't know. But I can only say how I do it. I always call on my ancestors. The old people. The old people are here. Because I'll always guide you when you know, you're just here. Connect you up and whatever. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yes. It's amazing. It's amazing. When it happens like that. The body always works upon Goni Dovulgan's soul. This earth yes, oh, yeah. is Goni Dovulgan. That's by him, his wife. And this earth gives us everything we need. White man tries to control nature. We don't. We live with nature. And I, I believe this. I don't own the land. I belong to the land. Just like the emu, the kangaroo, the birds. This is where our dream time stories come from. So we belong to the land. We don't own it. It owns us. And if we look after her, she will heal us and my spirit will always walk. I'll walk with my oldest one. Not in this realm, in a different realm. But my oldest can see everything I do. Very true, right? very true. I didn't get to raise my kids, so it's a bit of a difficult one. But as a warrior, you know, what I'm doing, you know, even though my kids are not with me, I feel like I'm doing something for them anyway. So, yeah. Fighting the good fight, Uncle. Yeah, fighting the good fight, you know, yeah. And that's what keeps me up. Even though I've got my kids with me, it just keeps my spirit up anyway. Uh, yeah. I've got a connection with children. Yeah. Right? It's the Amy fellow. Yes, <laughs> the Amy fellow. See, and the Amy and the kangaroo are the only two species on earth that can't walk backwards. <laughs> right. Go forward. Can't go backwards. Go can't forward. go backwards. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm, a, I'm an Amy fellow. And that's my totem. And the emu fellow. I'm the eagle fellow. He's the fellow that raises the children. The emu male raises the children, not the mother. Yes, yes, yes. He sits on the nest, hatches the eggs. Me when too. you see the emu walking around with all the little fellows behind him, that's dad. No, it might not even be some of his kids. That's right. Yeah, yes, yes, true, eh? Hey? So I have, I have new three fathers at the moment. <laughs> well, you got me, my brother. Uh, yeah, 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 my brother from a different mother. <laughs> hey, boom, boom. That's right. So, what I did when I raised my children, I didn't teach them culture. My young daughter, when she was little, she hated being black for because she got picked on because she was too white to be black and too black to be white. So I educated her in the universities, everything. Now. She's done the full circle. She's come back. She's now protecting the cultures. So she's done the full circle. She's come home. 
She's got all the knowledge from six years of university. And she comes to the dad, no matter where she is. Dad, can you teach me some language? What do you want to know, baby? Because she asked, I teach. If you don't ask, you don't receive. It's as simple as that. Very true, right? The, the cocks are fucking the roosters. So maybe they just became the chicken and the egg and they said that came first and this came first. And they're just going around in circles like, hell, oh. All I want to say is, this is a contradiction to you and it's all bad. You say that's a sin, 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 and I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Maybe sorry isn't good enough. Maybe what's good enough is just being yourself. Why did he just say, hell, oh, world? Maybe the O oh is just going around in yes. circles. Yeah, maybe you just gotta be yourself, baby. Yes. Cause I love you for you and everything you did was perfect. And maybe they told me you weren't perfect, but I said, no, you're perfect the way you are. Wait, can I, can I say something, sir? Why are you running away from? See, I don't want to teach some bung on black fella that runs out with my languages and then takes government white money for it. See, I will not sell my culture. It's as simple as that. I won't sell my culture. I get it. I make the government pay me rent. That's a pension. <laughs> <laughs> That's my rent for taking my land. And it's not enough. I'm going to have to raise the rent. Yes, I do. I do. I have to raise the rent. <laughs> yes. My brother been struggling. Every day being too much wondering. What's he going to do? What's the problem? Trouble being doubling. Drinking too much, family, you're worried. Slow down, my brother, don't throw your life away. Me worrying for you every night and every day. It's okay to have a good time, but you gotta stand up, be a role model for your child. <laughs> Too much losing my family, feeling so lost, losing my sanity. My friends come try and keep me up, take a walk, talk a story, say what's up. I just need a little time on my own right now to think about shit, try and work it out.
If a dog hurts a child, the dog gets put down. Pedophile can hurt the dog because pedophilia is right through the, the Westminster system, right across the world. Okay. I'd like to see us govern our own people in a sense. Right, a young man, I don't need your permission. As soon as the court, no, don't mollycoddle him. You give him to us, the elders. We're taking you out, Bush. We're going to clean you up and we're going to get your spirit back. We're going to put the pride in you. And the most powerful world word is respect. Because if you respect each other, you respect your body, you will not put the shit in your body. So teaching them respect, and this respect starts with yourself, and then Teach you can give it to others. Teach them truth, and then they, won't, then they will go out to do the right thing, you know, they make the right choices. Great thing, uh, Uluru being close off the public, because this is a sacred site, and um, that's it, uh, yes. Yeah, so, and putting those things, it's just spewing her and all that, putting that, yeah, steel things in it, and chains and all that, like. Make people walk up there. Oh, right. As one elder told me out there, they said, Bob, how would you like to find dead people in your backyard? And that's how he put it to me. I said, fair enough. Then. Fair enough, mate. Yeah. 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 I agree with Uncle Liz, and I'm a very proud man because <laughs> my daughter went over to the closing of the rock from her department. She was there. She was with the elders from her brother's country. And I am very proud that it's shut down. Because that is a sacred place. You know, back many years ago, it was called Ayers Rock. You know, it was never Ayers Rock. For a millennium, it was called Uluru. And it's a sacred place. And uh, well, how would a white man like it if I got uh, got the uh, Spikes and jammed them into the church and climbed up on top of the bloody church table. I'd be arrested <laughs> and chucked in jail. Exactly. <laughs> grim, grim. Yeah. They'd put me in a mental asylum. That's yeah. how I feel about it. Yeah. Brother? Yeah they'll, yeah, they'll probably arrest me if I climb up on the Parliament House there. <laughs> so, yep. I, I totally agree with the people out there for closing it down, yeah. And, um, I believe it's a sacred site for them and they're yeah, spiritual, you know, very, to spiritual, very, very spiritual place. I mean, very there's a lot of bad incidents yeah. out there and I'm glad that it's uh, done now. We will not probably have them sort of things happening out there. Yeah. Yep. So you're given the chance, we can self-govern ourselves, but we have to do it. Let the Wiradjuri self-govern Wiradjuri. Let Brothers to Culture self-govern his, you know? And as many communities around the Kimberley, Northern Territory, where communities are taken in hand, they banned alcohol, they banned all of the substances. They go back to natural stuff, like kava. They drink kava now and all the violence is gone. The women. We've always been a pretty matriarch society. Female. You, you don't dishonour your mother, you don't oh. dishonour your grandmother, you don't dishonour the women ancestors. They, they're our power base. But when men do men's business, they go away from the women. That's what they're doing. And I can't talk about women's business because I'm not a woman. At least, that wasn't the last time I checked. All right. Uh, yeah, now, now this, this um, mainstream media question. What do you say about the climate change debate right now? Okay. You, you want to go first, Uncle? That's what we're doing out there now. We're fighting for our rivers out there. We lived off it for so many thousands of years and now it's destroyed now. And um, you know, if you muck around with nature, it's going to bite back. And this is, uh, this is why it happened now with the drought and stuff, all this, you know, because of all the cotton farming, they're taking all the water out and all this stuff. So it's sad out there now. We're fighting tooth and nails with it now. Just recently we had a big convoy of. It's affecting everyone now a lot. Very sad, really. 
makes me angry anyway. Yeah. And they said my people recorded from fire, ice, water. Amazing, amazing. Yes, it's all being recorded in your room and, and it's told two stories. And, and yes, hey, very true. It's very true. Uh, yeah. Well, I work for a, for a person and we do uh, weed control. I kill willow trees and blackberry bushes along rivers, along the Snowy River, along all the rivers around here really. Um, I basically sit in my canoe and float, paddle down the down river and kill blackberry bushes by spraying onto the bank. And um, yeah, I kill non-native trees. Yeah, and um, everything I do is, is not, not harmful to to any aquatic animals or, or or other vegetables around Roundup. Yeah, same same with that fella in front. And he's got a he's got some spray stuff on there too. You know, no, well, not harmful for not harmful for me if I'm careful. Six years, seven years. Yeah. And the government is paying this. Yeah. The willow trees and the, the blackberry bushes, they, they suck up a lot of water, they spread very quickly, they choke up the rivers, and yeah, they, they take a lot of the water away from other native plants, so yeah. Like if you, if you look down here, this is Double Creek, this, this used to be full of water, and now the cows have to come right up here and you look at the cows, they've got no water. about an indigenous prime minister and the future for, for being in charge of the country. Yeah, why not? Yeah, fucking things are going to change. Yeah, it won't hurt. They're going to take out the fucking main polluters. Yeah, they're just fucking India and China and all them fucking idiots. They're just killing us. Australia is doing something as well, but yeah, yeah it's, it, we need to go solar. We need to fuck everything off and go solar and win. Yeah, it's simple. And, until they do that, you know, they're silly. Because they can they can literally build one little solar panel place for each town and that would power that whole town and then you know the, the problem solved. You know, we and then we'd have a lot more money for hospitals and everything else. So yeah maybe we need a black president. Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison is on holidays in Hawaii. Now What's happening in Australia at the moment is something that's never happened before. This country is burning. My state of New South Wales, there are fires that uh, stretch from one length of the state to the other, while the Prime Minister is on a beach in Hawaii. Now, they didn't tell anyone where he was. The education. They need to change the system too. The, like, the classes are too big, the teachers don't know what they're doing. They're, they're reading from a book and just come out of teacher school. So, you know, they've got to teach more uh, indigenous stuff. You know, yeah, they get, get back down to the basics and then don't forget about the small kid. The small kid needs help too. You can't survive down in the bush, you can't survive anywhere. You know, I live away from home, I'm home Saturday to from Monday. You know, the rest of the time I'm out in the bush walking around, floating around in, in a canoe. So, yeah, yeah, it's a different experience. So, yeah, everyone needs to go out there and go walkabouts and experience life. You know, instead of, yeah, relying on all, every, all this white, white man's medicines, really. They, yeah. They're not helping and not working, really. Uh, I believe if there's a God and he wants to judge me again when I meet him, then so be it, but I don't believe in that. I don't believe in the devil either, you know? Yeah, the, you can't tell me that fucking everyone, all these religions want to go kill, kill and murder in the name of their fucking God. You know, they can all go fuck themselves, really. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> it's perfect, thank you very much.
climate change isn't about it. Without the volcanoes around the world, we wouldn't have what we got. That's Mother Earth's spring and life. And, and, and you mean? Any planet that doesn't have a volcano is a dead planet. Look how much shit they spew out. They can cover countries when there's a massive explosion. They can block out the sun. These things happen, happen naturally. Okay, we're contributing to it through the fossil fuels and, yeah, and stuff like that. We are contributing. But this is, an, I believe, it's a natural occurrence because through history, down at Lake Mungo, that was a beautiful, beautiful lake. Tribes lived all around it. Then the drought come. The whole lake dried up. So we had the people have to move to other areas, which was a good thing because then you can breed with other tribes and it keeps the blood right. I look at it like this. Going to the Hogan Mother Earth, the river systems are like the veins through my body. If I just wrap a band around my arm and pull it tight, what happens? My arm chokes and can't survive. And that goes for every part of my body. It is the river system of my body. And that's the river systems out there. You've got Cubby Station. They hoard water. They don't let it flow down, but the government sold it to Chinese, sold the water rights to them. So they just sucked that water out. Rice farmers, we don't need rice. You want rice? Buy it from China. If we don't need cotton, grow hemp. Hemp is a stronger material. All the army uniforms in the Second World War were made of hemp. All the great ships in the past, all of the rope was made of hemp. Hemp's a good medicine, it's a good fabric. It, you can make fuel out of hemp for cars, and the hemp needs very little water. But once again, that arsehole in America back there when he banned the alcohol, he banned the alcohol and the prohibition, and then when prohibition ended, he had nothing to, J. Edgar Hoover, he had nothing to work his FBI on, so he blamed it on marijuana. So the evils of <laughs> yeah, yeah, so he turned it on another thing. Made a document. Just oh. so his FBI could keep running. Yeah. Get the money. Uh, this world, white man is so... Oh, it's nearly going to swear. This white man, white man, and... Uh, I'm not blaming all white people. There's a lot of white people that live a very good life. But this white government, under their policy, they don't give a shit about going to the and Mother Earth. All they care about is ripping her and tearing her. Right. And, and this is why she's fighting back now. This is why we got the drought. A lot of towns out there are going to die. Very true, they are dying there. I want to know why the cockroach wanted to smoke. Because maybe these people were just cockroaches that wanted to smoke. And they didn't realize that cockroach had the same DNA as them. And maybe they were spiritual entities that could go into anything and everything. And maybe that was the girl down the street that said, I don't like you. So I said, I don't like you either. Now you're a cockroach carrying a cigarette butt because you were smoking all my cigarettes. To have a future for our youth is rain them in. And you said, no, you're not allowed a cigarette. And I, thought, I said, well, what are we supposed to share? And now she just runs around with a little cigarette butt and thinking, why the fuck am I a roach? Maybe it's just a butt carrying a butt and a roach being a roach. Maybe the roach is a roach and the cockroach is just showing you that he's just a little roach. And he just wants a little roach. Maybe the roach is the best part of the roach. Very true, they are dying now. And the trouble with Australia, we got states. So that state up there above us, he takes the water, only lets a certain amount down, and then this state takes his share, and time you get to the bottom of the Murray River, it's not even running an ocean. Because the states are greedy as well. And they sell it off to these people. We don't need this rubbish in our lives. We can heal, we can't cure. Yes, I we got to... Certain things are just totally gone, just can't put back, can't do it anymore. Yeah, that's you know, they say climate change. Yeah. Why aren't they out there planting thousands and thousands and millions of trees? I think, yeah, I think, I think we got, already got what we got here now. I think, I think what everyone needs to do is just stop what they're doing now. We've got what they've got here, you know. Give, give Mother Earth a rest. Yeah, give her, give her a rest. She really yeah. does, she really needs to be healed, though.
a good quick little break there. We're going to have a longer break when we get to Catherine. So it's a bit under an hour to get there and we'll have a break for over an hour. So a good chance to have some lunch, etc. Walk around Catherine for a bit. Uh, just like to remind anyone who's listening to music, uh, movies, etc. Please use your headphones or turn the volume down to zero, thanks. Just uh, for the comfort of the other passengers. Otherwise we'll have everyone competing for airspace. So if you're listening to music... Give, my, give Mother Earth a rest. Yeah, give her, give her a rest. She really yeah. does. She really needs to be healed, though. Yeah, she just can't do it. And with population in, on this place and all that, it just can't sustain the population. No, yeah. It can't. It cannot. She cannot. The technology has to stop. Because most of the population in Australia live along the coastline. Yes. Yeah. When I grew up as a kid, we had the mighty Macquarie River and the Bell River, and it was always flooding water. They built the fucking dams. That blocks the artery going back to the arm. Blocking the vein. Them dams block the arteries. But they say oh, it's water storage. It's water storage for who? For the farm. They're not farmers. A farmer grows crops. Out there, cotton is he's not a farmer. Rice growers, he's not a farmer. He rip he rapes and pillages the water system. And all the chemicals they sprayed in the past all over this country. DDT, you know, as a kid on the mission, I'd go to school, all the children would be getting DDT put in their hair to kill the lice. And DDT's a bloody poison. Agent Orange. Yeah, look what they did to Vietnam. In Australia, in the Northern Territory, there is still, to this day, 44 gallon drums of DDT, which is Agent Orange from the Vietnam War, that is still sitting there, that will never be removed, has never been touched, no one is allowed to go there, and they will never be moved or touched ever. And they are leaking, and it is still to this day. How much? 44 gallon drums, the same as a 44 gallon drum of diesel fuel. And it is DDT, which is Agent Orange, which is what they sprayed over the soldiers when they were trying to um, kill them in Vietnam. As a kid on the mission, I'd go to school, all the children would be getting DDT put in their hair to kill the lice. And DDT is a bloody poison. Agent Orange. Yeah, look what they did to Vietnam. It's pretty hard out there to make a grain there where I'm from because. There's no water. Because to rain, to form rain clouds, you, you need that water. As I understand it with my experience in mining, underground and on the surface, with gold and with other sorts of mining, whether it's jewels or whatever, um, the land is leased from the traditional landowners in Australia to the mining companies and the Aboriginals, they get royalties from the mine in the, in the form of money, um, which is worked out through the elders, the traditional landowners and the directors and managers of the mining companies. And then that's worked out in board meetings. They have like committee meetings and they work that out and then they agree on a figure, then the royalties are paid per year each time, I don't know, different parts of Australia pay different amounts. And basically that's how the system works when it comes to native title and the mining in Australia. That's basically how it works. The different types of mining in Australia, you've got uranium mine, you've got gold mine, you've got opal mine, you've got diamond mine, you've got, um, They've got gems, rare gems like um, rubies, sapphires. Uh, yeah, you can find any sort of type of aquamarines, all different kinds of gems, uh, precious gems. There's gem fields in Queensland. There's gem fields in WA, South Australia. Uh, 
Darwin has a lot more jungle, so there's, you know, they haven't sort of explored underneath the surface of the jungle anymore. They try to keep as much, try to conserve as much trees and stuff as possible. Yeah, that's basically how it works. Yeah, well, the uranium is basically for um, power because they use, they make plutonium for the rockets. Uh, the uranium is also used for um, radioactive stuff and the problem with the uranium is the waste that they have to dispose of which causes radioactivity which is not good for human beings. Uranium, it's radioactive. Uh, they make plutonium for fuel for rockets. Uh, yes, there's a lot of things that uranium and bauxite, which is yellow cake, which is a nickname for uranium. They call it bauxite, which is a bauxite mine. There is one in Northern Territory and it's up in um, Arnhem Land. And Arnhem Land is sacred land to the indigenous. So there's an argument about mining there as well. Australia, I would estimate roughly about 5,000 mines which are mining various minerals, various precious metals uh, and some dangerous stuff like uranium. Myself, I'm personally, I love nature and I also have an experience in mines. wealth, money for the country to run and function, the government, but I also understand it is beautiful to walk into a jungle where it's as natural nature and birds and singing, so that argument will always be there forever till mankind is no longer here and then the aliens come down and that's, that's it, it's another world. There's different mines, they have an open cut mine which is on the surface which they extract the dirt and it goes through a, a crusher and it's processed that way and they take it per gram of how much gold they separate the dust from the precious metal. Underground there is a shaft mine which goes down as a shaft and there is a decline mine which is vehicles can drive down on, on the, as it goes down into the earth's crust and they're the three different gold mining processes they have. Yes, yes I've found gold plenty of times. But when I went underground as a young person, you, I, you have to do an induction and you have to get a miner's right, which is a, a license, like a driver's license, to work in the mine. And that goes for 99 years. So I have my miner's prospector's license. So while I'm alive, and now that I've got terminal lung problems, I don't think I'll be here for much longer. I, I don't have to, I can, as long as it's land that's not claimed by somebody if it, and the government don't own the land, if I find something prospecting on that land, I can keep it because I have a licence. But the only reason I got my prospector's licence is because I worked for a mining company in Western Australia. I've worked for at different mining services, as in drilling, never been underground in a coal mine but I have black lung which is COPD. The doctors claim it's from coal. I believe it's from diesel fuel. 
because Australia, Australian machinery runs on diesel. Then when they finish the mine and they finish with it and the lease runs out, then they revegetate, they plant trees and they try to give, put it back. It'll never be the same as what it was, but they try to clean up the mess that they made from the mine to keep the greenies happy. The worst mine would have to be open cut because it's a big hole in the ground and all the fucking land's gone because they remove all the dirt to process it. And then what's left is big piles of sludge, which is mud, dust, crap, that's worth nothing. It's got no topsoil, it's got no nutrients in it. It's just sludge. They call them the um, sludge piles. And that's the, that's the waste from the gold mining, from the open cut, the big super pit, where with the uranium you have your, your waste, which is very radioactive, which is dangerous to human beings. But they also use plutonium in mobile phones, as well as gold and other precious metals. And the theory of people contracting Ill ear problems, brain problems from mobile phones, it's a real problem. It's not a conspiracy theory, it's actually truth. There is truth in it. They claim the Illuminati are who control the world. Now, um, the Illuminati they claim is five of the richest people in the world, i.e. the Queen, um, the family, the Rothschild family. They claim that as one of the Illuminati, they claim that the American president is another one of the Illuminati, and it's all to do with wealth. The war, they call it, they used to call it global cleansing. It is one way of saying genocide, it is another way of saying cruelty to humanity, and, there's, and the truth is, the only way that the world is ever going to be saved is through humanitarianism. And it's the only thing that is going to save the world is people together, united as one. Some countries are in that much in debt monetary ways. They'll never be able to pay their debt. But that's how it works with the high hierarchy, with the power people and that debt will never be paid because the interest compounds more than what the debt is. The same as a mortgage, the same as an interest rate from the bank. So I'd done basic training. I was not allowed into the army because I was a criminal when I was younger. And in them days, the law stated you had to, they were very, very critical in who they selected for the army. Nowadays, uh, they have transgenders, they have gay people in the army. Um, some people call them expendables because they send them in first so they can get wasted. Um, that is just the truth. Uh, that's just what I know of my life and I understand. Uh, do I believe in war? No. Do I agree with war? No. Have I seen conflict? Every day of my life I see conflict. Have I suffered abuse? Mentally, yes. Physically, no. I have never been molested by a priest. I have never been tortured in a prisoner of war camp. But I have physical ailments, as in medical conditions, that I have got from life in general. Where a lot of people hang themselves from a tree because they can't cope with life. You have millionaire farmers in Australia that are very wealthy and their cattle from drought and they've got to pay the bank so much money, they kill themselves. They put a gun to their head and they shoot themselves and their family is left wondering why. They talk about reconciliation in Australia between the British, the white people 
and the indigenous people, the aboriginals, they have been talking about it for 50 years, reconciliation. I don't think they have even started to reconcile. hard out there to make it rain there where I'm from because there's no water. It was to rain, to form rain clouds, you, you need that water 
and it's a constant cycle. See, the sun soaks the water up to make form rain clouds, and it makes it rain. Then, and out there, we hardly got any water to to form that to make it rain and stuff like that to make it. Yeah. Well, see, I'm, it's I'm dry. Really You've got the great currents of the ocean, and them currents are slowing down. They're slowing down. Yeah. And that affects the weather system. That's called the El Nino. Now, if these currents are changing, that changes the rainfall system. So we're not getting the rain. Over Western Australia at the moment, there's a big cloud coming through, but then it bends away. And don't come on the continent. The uh, yeah, ice in Antarctica are uh, melting. It's melting rapidly too, so fast that one is really speed up. It's really over. People are just don't know what they're doing there. See, every 3,600 years, so you've got the North Pole, but you've got the Magnetic Pole. The Magnetic Pole now is over Russia. The mag Magnetic Pole can flip overnight, or it can take 50 years to flip. That causes Great earthquakes, it causes tsunamis. tsunamis, it causes great monsoons. And look what's happening now. The monsoons have never been like they were before. The Antarctic was actually on the equator once. People don't know that because they're not educated in it. Scientists have found a valley in the Antarctic down there, the South Pole, it's never snowed. But when they, in hot springs, and when they crack the rock here, it's tropical plants. The polar shift. Because we're 90, 80 to 90,000 yeah. years old, and their Christian Bible says we're on, the earth is only 6,000. You know, propaganda, brainwashing of the people. Yeah. Hitler did it. That's right. Christianity did it. Christianity they destroyed all ourselves. cultures. We're, we're killing ourselves, basically. Yeah. And what they did to yeah, my people and other people, the massacres, when they first come here, I, I can't forgive for that. And I won't forgive, I won't forget that. What they did. That, that always remains in me. And they did that all over the world. The great British bloody empire. I have to change the dam at the moment because it's it's running out of... <clears throat> we were at the Queen, we were at this this uh, religion and all the the injustice was what, what humans did to, to other humans and Mother Earth so far. So what's the future about? Well, How, first thing said, we got to do to have a future for our youth is rein them in. I went through a dark stage with alcohol back before I was 30 and I was in a very dark place and once again I say one Aboriginal elder took me aside and took me bush and he said alcohol and drugs are not your problem you're the problem because once I fixed my spirit inside I had no reason to drink go get drunk because I had no reason to get drunk it's education of the spiritual the youth need to be reined in. We've got to get rid of all these bloody do-goods. These ones that make excuses all the time. All the people that are screwing up their lives. My attitude, take them out. My culture, that's what I'd love to see. We take our people back. These are, they're all nice now. We take them back and we deal with them culturally. That means I, you're out there in the middle of nowhere. You don't even know where you are.
speak the truth. And then they want, then they will go out to do the right thing, you know, they make the right choices. And then you, you give them the power to teach other yeah. drug users because you don't know what it's like unless you've been there. Yeah. Walked in their shoes, eh? That's right. Yeah. And I've walked in them shoes. You keep a person dumbed down. This was my favourite saying. You keep a person dumbed down, they will go out and do dumb things. That's right. That's my side. I'm a truth person. I never lie to someone. They never teach you true, true stuff in our schools because they have the control of the all their parliament house. They have, they have control of the, the schools, the whole oh, university, system, everything, system. you know? See? This is prison. prison. It's yeah. a self governed prison. Yeah. And we're prisoners in our own land. But when I go bush, I'm free. Yeah. I'm free. If you want to ask, uh, if you want to ask me something, <laughs> if you if you if you want to add something, please feel free. I'm I'm I'm. That's all good with me. Eh? I'm, oh, happy, I'm yeah. quite happy. Eh? But I come back to one thing, and I'll end it with this: respect is the healer. Respect. If we can get our children to respect like they did when I was growing up, you got in trouble up one end of town, you got a kick in the ass with your uncle up there, and before you got home, they no telephone, but dad knew about it, and you get another kick in the ass. Respect. Respect your mother. Respect your families. Respect your elders. Respect. I respect society as it's living. I don't like living in it, but I respect it. So thank you very much for coming on this journey. And yes, brother, we right. are yeah, so yeah. glad to share this journey I'm, with you. I'd love to, you. to be around with you. Yeah. Uh, hey, brother. And like I said, I can't say goodbye. Peace and love to you. Peace and love to you. The elixir of life. Water. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it, mate. Thank you very much for this. Thank you. I'm very proud to do that for you. Because I don't want to do it. It's, it's better to, to, to have this. Uh, what do you say? It's a, it's a tax. tax it tax used to be the tax. I never thought that I, that would happen in Canberra.
public discretion by the Lord now and that will flood it. We must have been bloody good swimmers. Because <laughs> we're nine, 80 to 90,000 years old and their Don't Christian Bible says well, the earth is only 6,000. You know, propaganda, brainwashing of the people. Yeah. Hitler did it. That's right. Christianity did it. Christianity they destroyed to be killing all ourselves. cultures. We're killing ourselves, basically. Yeah. Put it. And what they did to yeah, my people and other people, the massacres, when they first come here, I can't forgive for that, and I won't forgive, I won't forget that, what they did. That, that always remains in me. And they did that all over the world. The great British bloody empire. Too much losing my family, feeling so lost, losing my sanity. My friends come try and keep me up, take a walk, talk a story, say what's up. I just need 